हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर ज्योति डिगुलवानी विथ रिसर्च मैथडोलॉजी वन वी हैव स्टार्टेड विथ चैप्टर नंबर वन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज हाइपोथेसिस एंड टाइप्स ऑफ हाइपोथेसिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न व्हाट इज हाइपोथेसिस लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड इट अगेन अ हाइपोथेसिस इज अ प्रपोजिशन विच the researcher wants to verify it's a tentative answer because its validity can be evaluated only after it has been tested it's a proposition that means it's a one assumption which the researcher wants to verify the verify that is they want to check it whether it is right or wrong now here it is mentioned that it's a tentative answer that means it is not 100% right it is assumed answer its validity can be evaluated only after it has been tested that means uh, either it is right or after its testing that is it's a one assumption which will be tested and that it will be proven that either it is right or wrong so that is known as the hypothesis or in our shorter term if you want to understand hypothesis is a assumption it can be negative or it can be positive after being the test now let us understand types of hypothesis under that number 1 is null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis null hypothesis is denoted by ho and alternative hypothesis is denoted by h1 you have learned this hypothesis so many times in your statistics that is null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis this both are used combinedly now what are these hypotheses in this type of hypothesis two statements are made for indicating relationship between two population or two properties or two variables usually we have to take ho that is null hypothesis which may usually not be accepted as far as possible and h1 is the hypothesis which is accepted when h is rejected here let us understand it briefly here two statements are made combinedly not only we have to make one hypothesis that is we don't have to make one assumption but we have to make assumption of two statements we have to make two statement assumption now this two statements are indicating relationship with each other now this relationship can be between two population or two properties or two variables you all know very well now the meaning of population properties or variable that means whatever statement we are making over here it gives the relationship of two variables or two objects or two population or two subjects or anything now whenever we are making any assumption at that time whatever null hypothesis which is denoted as ho which may usually we not accept as far as possible that means 99% we have to make this assumption which will not be accepted we have to make it in that way which will not be accepted and h1 is the hypothesis which is accepted when h is rejected as i said that simultaneously we have to make this assumption combinedly we have to make this two assumption now when one statement will be rejected at that time another will be automatically accepted let us take one example how here we have taken example to test the effect of drinking of wine on health 
what is the effect of drinking of wine on health this is our main topic now we have to make two assumption related to it that what are the effects of drinking of wine on health here we have make two assumption that ho that is null hypothesis there is a no effect of wine on health that is negatively and there is a effect of wine on health which is what a positive statement so here see we have prepared our null hypothesis in a way that it is going to be rejected only what we have assumed over here that there is a no effect of wine on health we all know very well that there is a effect of wine on health so obviously this statement is going to be rejected and when the statement will be rejected automatically h1 is going to be accepted so in short null hypothesis is to be prepared in a way that majorly it is rejected so alternate hypothesis will be accepted it is to be prepared in that way and majorly that null hypothesis is prepared in a negative way so that it can be rejected majorly i am not saying that 100% it should be prepared in a negative way because sometimes some words are there which is to be uh, used as positive but then to our null hypothesis will be rejected so here null hypothesis and alter hypothesis alternative hypothesis are two statement which is indicating relationship between two population or two properties or two variable and this two hypothesis are used simultaneously with each other number two hypothesis is descriptive hypothesis which is denoted by hd these are the proposition that describes the characteristics of variable may be an object or person or organization that means this assumption gives only details of a particular topic in our language if we want to say it gives only details related to a particular subject let us take one example here we have taken example that suppose government employees are corrupted so this is what our descriptive hypothesis this is our assumption it is to be tested and then after testing it either it will prove right or it will prove wrong another example is educational system is not oriented to human resources needs of a country again this is the assumption only and it is going to give us certain details related to education system after testing it either it will prove wrong or it will prove right so here what is descriptive hypothesis as it is mentioned over here it describe the characteristics of variable may be an object or person or organization that mean details of a selected thing it only describes you the characteristics number 3 is relative hypothesis which is denoted as hr this hypothesis is also known as rational hypothesis this is a another name of this relative hypothesis now what is this this hypothesis describes the relationship between two variables which can be negative or which can be positive that means it give certain relationship between two variables but this relationship may be positive or it may be negative we have taken one example over here number 1 girls consume more chocolate than boys here we have taken examples uh, here we have taken relationship between girls consumption of chocolate in comparison of boys consumption of chocolate 
it gives a relationship between two variables which describe either positive relationship or negative relationship in short we have to do comparison over here example number 2 gives us foreign cars are of better quality than indian cars here we are comparing foreign cars with the indian cars again here there is a relationship between foreign cars and indian cars either it will give positive view or it will give negative view this is what our relative hypothesis number 4 is causal hypothesis which is denoted by h c a uh, causal that is which give cause and effect relationship between two variables see it is mentioned over here this explains cause and effect relationship between two variables that is it gives relationship between independent and dependent variable means here one thing is cause and another thing is effect of a particular cause let us take example yield per hectare increases by use of chemical fertilizer now when our yield per hectare will increase when we are going to use the chemical fertilizer so what is our cause over here cause is a chemical fertilizer which is going to give us effect on yield per hectare another example price of curd cheese is related to price of milk here price of milk is a cause if price of milk will increase automatically price of curd price of cheese will increase but if price of milk reduces then automatically price of cheese and price of curd will reduce that means whatever cause is there its effect will be seen into the another variable so here we can say that causal hypothesis gives cause and effect relationship if cause will increase alternative uh, automatically it will give effect on the a uh, dependent variable and if cause decreases dependent variable also decreases so let us repeat it again hypothesis is one assumption which is to be tested and after that either it is accepted or rejected number 1 null hypothesis and alternate alternative hypothesis these are the two statements made for indicating relationship between either two population or two properties or two variable and these two hypotheses are used simultaneously with each other majorly h o is prepared to be rejected and alternative hypothesis is prepared to be accepted majorly but not 100 percentage descriptive hypothesis only describes the characteristics of variable in short it gives details of a particular topic relative hypothesis or it is also known as rational hypothesis it gives relationship between two variables and this relationship may be negative or it may be positive here two only objects are compared with each other causal hypothesis it gives cause and effect relationship one cause is there and it gives effect on the another variable so today we are concluding with the types of hypothesis in next video we will go with the next question so till then stay tuned goodbye